Now, we uh, had fun with the appointment of Nadine Dorries. You'll remember you stumbled upon uh, her, uh, the cam what we'll call the camel toe yes. interview, uh, which we didn't intend no. any disrespect, but which has taken wings and flown uh, across the world. Um, she is now in charge of what happens to the BBC. And she made a speech, which uh, I must say I agreed with every word of, in which she demolished the BBC. She demolished their, uh, the extent to which they are completely contemptuous of the great mass of the British people. Uh, you know that old phrase, PLU, people like us? The BBC speaks to people like them. Mm. But the problem is, it's the rest of us that are paying for it, at least up till now. I get a feeling that Nadine Doris is out to get the BBC. Well, I think she is. And, you know, it's really the dying days for the BBC. You know, they've got the gall to be making a documentary about Jimmy Savile, which Unbelievable. I really could hardly believe takes that. the biscuit. They're um, going to make a documentary about one of their flagship presenters for decades who was on their premises and on their dime committing horrific sexual crimes against... Uh, I don't want to go into details, but no. living and dead people. Yes, quite. Uh, this man, uh, you would have thought the last thing in the world the BBC would want to do would be to bring all that up again. Well, absolutely. But I think it speaks to the fact that, you know, some in the BBC, I think, do expect this to be their... Uh, end of an era. The, you know, this is a swan song for them. It's the end. They know the, the gig is up, their days are numbered. And so, you know, perhaps they are embarking on these rather odd projects because they know that Nadine Dorries and the Tory government have it in for them. And, and why wouldn't they, frankly? You know, mm. everybody in Britain that watches TV has to pay a ghastly sum to a corporation that fewer and fewer people are actually watching and paying attention to. It seems grossly unfair. And I'm all in favour of defunding the BBC, either moving it over to an ad-supported model or making it Netflix-style. You know, there are people in the country who want to watch the BBC's output. I'm not one of them, but I'm sure there are people out there, and good luck to them. But don't make me pay for, you know, watching, uh, not watching content. It's ridiculous.